Gabbing with Jessa. Today's video is just going to be a quick little one that I'm mo making mostly as like a reference point to refer back to, but it's something that's going to be useful in this new kind of age and development of my channel. When I rank new movies that I'm going to go see, or if I'm talking about book reviews as well, I'm going to try to use this new kind of ranking system. Now everybody does, you know, either five stars or ten stars or what have you. And while that's fun and interesting, I wanted to put a little spin on it. And so I've come up with the Pokemon ranking system, which will essentially, instead of giving a star review, you'll be able to tell how I feel about the movie based on what kind of Pokemon I give it. I just wanted to put a little twist on like a traditional ranking. I actually got inspiration from this uh, from black nerd comedy, Andre. Uh, he used to do like a Care Bear kind of ranking system and that's always stuck in my head as like pretty funny. And so I wanted to do something that was similar to that and be inspired by that, but something that I could relate to, which I've gotten so much back into Pokemon recently. It's been so much fun to explore that again. And I'm like, that sounds perfect. Well, what is this ranking system? I am so glad you asked. I have decided to pick out five Pokemon that would represent on a scale essentially of like zero to five, like you kind of would for like a typical ranking that gives my feelings about the movie that I've seen or whatever I'm reviewing, how that made me feel. And so these are the five Pokemon that I'm going to be using and I'll explain each of them. So first we have a Magikarp and I wanted to put Magikarp for last or for the lower ranking ones. You can essentially kind of think of this as being a zero to 1.5 star rating because just like how Magikarp looks, it was a flop. I don't like to say that things are bad. I don't like to, you know, really have a negative viewpoint on something when there's so many people that put so much hard work and effort and into this. So I wanted to play a little bit on the flop system with having Magikarp there, but also using it as inspiration because of what it can become. It becomes this big ferocious beast. And so maybe if there was something I feel like could have been added to the story or added to the movie or added to the way it was shot or something like that. It has the potential to be a great beast of a movie. Next we have Eevee. Eevee you can think of as like the higher side of 1.5 to like 2.5 stars. And again, kind of similar to Magikarp, I picked Eevee here because, not because of anything about Eevee, I mean look at it, it's adorable, but Eevee can become so many different kinds of Pokemon. So these are the movies that I feel like if you just added more to the story, it could have been this. And if you just kept going and going, there was maybe some aspect of it that it could go anywhere because Eevee is a Pokemon that can evolve into many different types. It's not just the typical evolutionary scale. If you're somewhat familiar with Pokemon, it can evolve into a specific fire type or a specific water type or ice type or grass type or anything like that. And so I wanted to use Eevee as like this higher side of the low rankings in that it can become strong, but maybe there was something about it that just didn't fit right for me. Next, we have a love disc. You can think of this as being on the higher side of 2.5 to 3.5. This is, you know, I thought it was perfectly average. Love disc, as you can see, it is a heart. And so it's just, you know, lovable. There was things that I liked about it. There was things that I didn't like about it. And I just still thought it was a pretty good movie. Just like, you know, I probably loved it in some way. There was something about it that I loved, which is why I gave it this kind of rating. And that's what I think Love Disc represents. For our 3.5 to 4.5 rankings, I'm gonna be using Pikachu. Pikachu is a standard. Everyone knows Pikachu. Everyone loves Pikachu. He is the mascot. He is the picture of when you think of Pokemon, you think of Ash and Pikachu, even though they are now going to be retiring them as the main characters. Pikachu for the last 25, 26 years has been the mascot of Pokemon. So it is a great movie. It has been loved. There's many great things about it. It still may not be the best as it take took him a while to get to that best status, but there's still something there that everyone can find enjoyable, that everyone can love, and that I think any typical movie person, whether you're super into movies or you're not, will find enjoyable about this. It is enjoyable for everyone. And so that's why it's kind of at that 3.5, 4.5 ranking. And finally, for those very few that get like the higher end of 4.5 all the way to 5, I am putting Rayquaza. Rayquaza is the best legendary Pokemon. There's no 
I will take no ifs and or buts about it. And so this is a masterclass. This is a legendary movie. This is so great in so many ways. And even though it may not still be everyone's favorite, especially on those closer to 4.5 sides, it is still amazing. There is something about it that has made it this great. So that's why I'm going to give it to Rayquaza. And that's basically it. I just wanted to create this video as a reference so that way whenever I mention, oh, I'm giving this movie a P Pikachu or a love disc or something like this, there's something to refer back to and something that I'm putting out there as well so you guys can understand. And again, just as a fun different kind of ranking system, I think it's going to be a lot of fun just to try to relate things instead of on a star rating, which is so typical. Why not make it a little bit fun? But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, keep on gabbing.